What's up guys, it's Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to go over the latest updates and progress of the second stimulus bill and the $1,200 stimulus check for Wednesday, December 16th. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. So as of today, December 16th, we've passed over 1.6 million deaths worldwide and over 311,000 deaths in the United States alone as a result of the pandemic. With over 73.8 million people worldwide having tested positive, over 17.1 million of them have been from the United States. In the last 24 hours, the United States has recorded 201,649 new cases. Time is running out to approve a stimulus package, which must be passed before Friday at midnight, or else another stopgap will need to be approved to keep talks alive. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has warned lawmakers that there will be no Christmas vacation unless there is an agreement reached. Whilst talking to reporters, he said, as I've said repeatedly, we're not leaving here without a COVID package. Not gonna happen. We're going to stay here until we get a COVID package. No matter how long it takes, we'll be here until we get a COVID package. He continued with, the way forward, obviously, is to put aside the two things that are most contentious on each side. We all know the new administration is going to be asking for another package. We can live to fight another day on what we disagree on, but we ought to agree to go forward on what we can agree on. That is the way forward. He finished with, everybody wants to get a final agreement as soon as possible. We all believe the country needs it. I think we're getting closer and closer. The FDA is expected to approve the Moderna vaccine on Friday. It is confirmed to be 94.1% effective in preventing severe COVID cases in adults. If it is approved, approximately 6 million doses could be shipped out as early as next week. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has acknowledged Joe Biden's victory six weeks after he won the election. Whilst speaking on the Senate floor, he said, the Electoral College has spoken. Today, I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. He continued, I also want to congratulate the Vice President-elect, our colleague from California, Senator Harris. Beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female vice president-elect for the very first time. While speaking to Good Morning America on Tuesday, Dr. Anthony Fauci said he believes that both president-elect Joe Biden and vice president-elect Kamala Harris should get a vaccine shot as soon as possible. He said, for security reasons, I really feel strongly that we should get them vaccinated as soon as we possibly can. You want him fully protected as he enters into the presidency in January. Dr. Fauci continued by saying he believes that President Trump and vice president Mike Pence should also get vaccinated. He said, you still want to protect people who are very important to our country right now, even though the president was infected and he has likely antibodies that likely would be protective. We're not sure how long that protection lasts. So to be doubly sure, I would recommend that he gets vaccinated as well as vice president. California has received an initial 32,000 COVID vaccine doses this week and expects to receive another 393,000 by next week. Governor Gavin Newsom tweeted, just got word from Pfizer, CA, is now expecting 393,000 more doses to arrive next week. Excellent news as we begin to vaccinate healthcare workers and long-term care residents across the state. California could also receive another 673,600 doses within a week pending approval of the Moderna vaccine. This means that there may be 2.16 million doses delivered by the end of this year. Governor Gavin Newsom then warned the state that there was over 32,000 new cases in the past 24 hours and 142 deaths. He said, this is not something to be trifled with. Think about what the January number may look like if we continue like this. He went on to say, we have orders for 63 refrigerated units. We just had to order 5,000 additional body bags and distribute them down to San Diego, LA County. Even if we start seeing case numbers go down, we have the residual, the impact on the hospitals. That's what we're concerned about, the long tail, in terms of our planning. So that's just a quick update of what's going on at the moment. I will keep you all updated of any breaking news that comes out as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, make sure to click the link below to get your three free stocks from Weeble valued at up to $1,600 when you open an account and deposit over $100. And as always, please like, share and subscribe.